Assalamualaikum alaikum Malaikum salam my friends Metal Chef Mad Max I'll be cooking some delicious Nadi rice pilaf Arabic way, my way quick way and without wasting time and without wasting um, a second well but why anyway I got first uh, message you know somebody lately uh, leaving me uh, bad comments on my youtube channel give me thumbs down all the time please you know be uh, realistic if it um, really sucks that's fine but you know if you just do it for uh, uh, heck of it and to be nasty please stop because I will contact the uh, YouTube and uh, Google I will find out who you are and I don't want any drama and stuff I love everybody and I want to be in peace with all humanity so let's go do it the cooking show and put this bullshit to the side okay let me dress up for a second Oh, my apron. I'm gonna do this uh, quick way, naughty rice dish. This naughty is gonna be with the toasted almonds. So, again, mixing techniques and doing some little fusion because I'm metal chef Mad Max. I got my uh, trusted wok preheated. Again, it's an uh, Arabic dish, but I'm using wok. I like using wok, you know, like you guys know a lot. I got whole uh, assortment of different dishes and stuff like that all over the place. But I like to use the wok, and so I will use the wok for today's dish. A little bit uh, oil have to be preheated, you know what? I don't like too much oil. I went crazy with that, so I put too much in. Let's go drain it. Too much oil make your booty overboil. So if you guys don't wanna do this, will be too big like mine, but you know that's what God give me and I have to deal with that. So anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit <coughs> oil and a little bit sweet cream butter to enhance the flavor we're gonna do mix of the cooking fat so we got this going and then we're gonna use some uh, vermicelli it's actually vermicelli breaking up to pee break down to pieces you know really small noodles a little pasta Let's go get my steering thing, and sometimes it's my slap in the face thing, that's right. If you not nice to my daughter or myself. Alright, so we got that warmed up and we're gonna toast. Let's say a cup of vermicelli. And I got pre-cooked jasmine rice. Maybe two cups. And you just wanna toasty roasty the vermicelli so they turn golden brown and meantime we're gonna add also almonds unsalted uh, not toasted not roasted not braised not uh, uh, sl uh, you know just slivered almonds you go uh, let's see cup of it because it tastes good and Almonds are sorts of a lot of good stuff. So we'll stir this stuff together. Just pay attention. Don't let it sit in one spot without moving because we'll get uh, too toasty and roasty and we'll be burned. So you will have a uh, lots of drama. Well, let's go get drink some water. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. this rolling and the pot right here I got some chicken stock I always 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 have chicken stock in my freezer I will cook bunch of the chicken stock save the bones and 
you know guys I do my own butchering of the chickens and other uh, creatures rats and mice you know and shit and uh, so I did that and uh, I cooked a bunch of stock I uh, you know I will use the, some magical tool to make it clear and I put in a containers like this and I put in the freezers I always have the frozen chicken stock and when I need it and I froze it if but night before not I'll pop in the magic oven defrost a little bit and uh, get boiling and uh, and the pots I'm ready to rock so my noodle and almond mixture start getting nice roasty and toasty actually it's very fast recipe if you got through boiled rice you know you don't know what to do you know you tired the same all blues side dishes do this you know people gonna love ya because it's different it's it's tasty naughty and rock and rolly baby so we got this rolling if you guys want to see what's going on here I will show you right here see it's toasty and roasty try it, don't drop it on the floor on your on your feet will hurts a little bit and then we got this noodles and almond mixture going and looks like it's getting to be ready to add the chicken stock because if you burn noodles they're gonna turn, uh, taste like a burnt noodles okay it's going pretty quick turn the heat down because the wok got really nice and warm Looks like a good deal going. Oh my god, you know, I almost got my stock. Chicken stock. Fall off to the back of the. Oh, well, burning next, but I'm hard to kill. I'm from Poland. No worries. It's all good. Alright, so when the noodles and uh, almonds are nice and toasted, you have to be careful. Here is the real cook show, baby. You add one cup, two cups of the chicken stock. You can turn the chicken stock off. And let the flavor start mingling. The noodles will get cooked. I'm just using a little bit of salt don't go too crazy with the salt you always can add it you can't take the salt out that's my thing people nice and clean area you can bring the heat up cook the lid for a second okay let's go talk for about the second episode oh look at that it's in a fresh artichokes season people you know don't like to mess with them because they're hard to deal with. It's not the friendless vegetable, but I will show you in the next episode how to deal with the artichoke so you don't choke from overwork. It's not bad. So the noodles cooking, it's like really fast time. If you need more stock, you will get your hot stock. You can add it on. And the vermicellis are, you know, very thin noodles. They cook really, really, really quick. Looks like I'll need some. Bring up the heat to the thing. More stock. Let's go cook it up. And meantime, I'm gonna fish out the big ball set up up here get ready for another episode I'm gonna deal with the artichoke card so I will need some acidic water be patient it's coming so lemon juice maybe some white vinegar or whatever acid you got I don't recommend that to put the acid tablets you know you guys trip on it sometimes uh, I don't support any drug used in my 
cook show. Alright. Looks like the noodles getting nice and soft. It's gonna be beautiful addition to white rice color. We're gonna get nice toasty almonds and nice toasted vermicelli. And then you know if you wish so you can take extra almonds and toast them and a nonstick pan you know make the topping for uh, your rice mm. Basmati rice always smells delicious alright so after the noodles, noodles cook down you know another you know it's like a cooking risotto you for a second with this baby but I'm telling you it's worth it it's really good dish to break uh, the uh, boring rice uh, circle so we got that rolling <coughs> rice it's ready to raka and after I did rice warm it up it's ready to serve or you can let it sit for a little bit you know you check for taste with that just salt I don't add any pepper to it uh, if it's too dry you can add a little bit of butter to it if it's uh, in your you know personal taste you can add pepper and uh, free country baby you do whatever you want that's right kind of free country still okay so let's go viperize uh, the excess of the stock from the noodles and remember you know don't add too much salt because again the chicken stock got already so bad it hmm. it's gonna be delicious I'm telling you right now I'm not blowing all my candle but I see it's a little bit too much moisture <coughs> so I'm going to reduce the moisture by getting that out of the walk with viper action not the viper snake you know sorry I am man from overseas and my English sometimes it's rough but that's what I got alright on the right cotton consistency add your rice baby Oh shoot, got some stuff flying around. And that's all she wrote, man. Just warm it up. Don't cook rice any longer so you don't uh, overcook the rice and noodles. Just mix all the stuff together and the taste. Never double dip the spoons. Delicious. Delicious. It's nutty, toasty. A little bit extra salt because it was not salty enough. And that's all I got with this episode of cooking with the Metal Chef Mad Max. My easy and delicious again flying dishes flying pots nice and delicious and easy Arabic rice with vermicellis and toasted almond my friend so please keep on watching me please be fair with me I love you people you guys rock and I will rock you with my episodes of cooking with metal chef Mad Max and Till next time, peace and love and be good to each other and booyah and shake that!